Hi guys, look for here and welcome to another FIFA 20 Pro Review and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the 85 rated Liverpool Brazilian central defensive midfielder Fabinho. I was able to pack this guy yesterday in one of the advanced SBCs. Um, I believe it was the League of Nations SBCs where you get a, a rare mega pack for completing the Puzzle Master and in that pack I got Fabinho and Inform Aaron Quest as well. So um, although Fabinho doesn't fit into my main team as I've now switched to a Serie A and a Bundesliga hybrid, um, I thought I'd I'll just give him a review in a team which I can actually fit him into and by accident the way I was supposed to set it up was he was supposed to have 10 chemistry or 9 chemistry or whatever but he needed to play on the left hand side and by accident I played Balak there instead of playing um so he was supposed to win the left-hand side, but ended up playing central through just my error. But despite that, still played very, very well, even on six chemistry. Now, it says I only played two games with him. I actually played four games with him. Because I had the uh, the icon Balak, I could actually use him in online friends, where it doesn't use up any contracts. So I was reviewing him at the same time. So I played two games in online division rivals and two games in online friendlies classic match. So in the four games he played with me, he scored me one goal and got me three assists. He's also got a two-star weak foot as well as three stars. Skill moves. Let's have a look at his in-game stats. His main stats are to be his 84 reactions, his 83 short passing, as well as his 88 stamina, and finally his 88 interceptions. And I did also have the engine chemistry style applied to this Fabino card. Um, EA have been a bit harsh with his rating this year. He definitely deserved to be increased based on his you know his performance last year. When he came to Liverpool, he struggled initially. Um, I think his first game he came on against Napoli and he looked awful and he did for maybe a month or two in my opinion anyway but I really grew to like him and I think a lot of the Liverpool fans have grown to like him as well and now he's just not quite world class but he's got the potential to be and I don't even think he's that old either I think he's only in his mid-20s as well which is uh, absolutely insane but um He's great, obviously, IRL, and in FIFA as well, he was, a, he was a good card to use last year, and it's the same again this year. He's going for around 55,000 coins on Xbox, which isn't too bad, and um, as much as I like Rodri in this game, I think Rodri for Manchester City is absolutely insane as well. This card overall, I believe, has got better stats, although they're the same rating, I think he's slightly a better player in, in his overall stats, like defensive stats and stuff as well, and maybe his passing, but... Um, We'll get into his first pro from it. It's going to be a tackling fantastic. 88 interceptions, 86 stand tackle, 85 slide tackle. That's a lot better than most centre-backs in the game right now, which is just insane. And uh, 84 defensive awareness as well is pretty awesome. He helped out the two centre-backs big time. Considering they, they weren't my two main centre-backs, they had um, John Stones, who's not very good in this game, and uh, Gomez, who isn't too bad. But um, yeah, his tackling was just insane. Like He'd stop uh, opposition attacks like dead. He was just fantastic. He, he just controlled that central part of the midfield. And it also helps as well. That nice six foot two height is fantastic. The really good strength stats as well. In my opinion, he should have there uh, better than 81 strength. But he's got the 85 aggression as well, which is pretty awesome. So defensive wise, fantastic. Couldn't fault him. And even on the attack, he surprised me. I thought he was going to be pretty much useless on the attack. Uh, now, I'm not saying he should go and play him as like a natural box to box centre midfielder because I don't think he could play that role well all the time. But I think, you know, occasionally he can do pretty well. He scored me an absolutely insane goal on the edge of the box considering that his finishing stats are just horrendous. But he scored me a really awesome goal to be fair. And uh, his passing stats aren't too bad. You know, he's in the low 80s for short passing and long passing. His vision as well is at 78. And with that engine chem style, his uh, short passing and long passing both go to the mid 80s. And his vision as well goes up to 80. 80, which isn't too bad, and um, he got me three assists in four games from the most defensive centre mid position in the team. I thought that was absolutely amazing. He really actually is on the ball, similar to IRL as well. He can actually go and play with the ball and advance up the field pretty well, a lot better than what I expected him, you know, him to do. So I really couldn't fault him for that. In terms of uh, cons to the cards, I think for the position that you'd be playing him, at, you know, as like a, in my opinion, a CDM is, is absolutely the best position to play him in. I don't think there's anything bad about this card whatsoever. I think he's very good. Yes, you know, cards like uh, Angolo Kante would be very good as well, but at the same time, he's very short, you know, and Fabinho's got that really good height advantage, which I like. Um, I think other cards like Rodri as well are really, really good. I, I did review him and I enjoyed him, and I think the thing about Rodri is I think Rodri is more usable in a slightly more advanced role than Fabinho. Although Fabinho picked up four goal contributions in four games, I don't think on the whole, consistently wise, he isn't quite as good 
in a more advanced position. Um, but when, when it comes to a CDM position, which I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're probably considering to use him in that position, I couldn't fault him, and I definitely recommend buying him. I, I enjoyed him, and uh, I'm going to be sad to see him go. It's just a shame, you know, there's no point in me keeping him in this club because he just doesn't, as of now, anyway, fit into my team. He'd have, like, no chemistry, so I'd rather sell him on and improve other areas of my main team, I suppose. But, um, yeah, overall, I enjoyed him. But anyway, guys, that is going to finish this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.